Hi all and welcome to this new Crypto Bros video on this occasion reviewing one of our favorite projects by far Sphere Finance 10 thanks to which you can win $250 worth of Sphere tokens to participate in this giveaway you just have to follow all the steps you'll find down below this video so check it back in 48 hours to know if you are the lucky winner well, Sphere is the acronym of Simplicity, Power, Harmony, Afford, Robustness, and Emissions. All advantages that we have witnessed to date. Although it's better if you do your own researches on this project as always. Apart from the milestones achieved so far, such as more than 35,000 holders and members on their Discord channel, daily volumes that have once reached up to 10 million, the all-time high multiplied initial price by a hundredfold, many other protocols interested in collaborating with its business model and so on, we consider this protocol to be a must for five key reasons. There we go. The team. To be honest, with more than 10 MAMs with different collabs, Sim, Lilo, DVK, Weber, or Geometrus, among others, have proven to be a solid team capable of rowing in the same direction, so much that they have all left their previous jobs to focus exclusively on this long-term project. A special mention should be made of the moderators, who are always ready to answer questions from the community and to create a pleasant and constructive environment in their Discord channel, one of the most partitive at we've seen so far. Number two, tokenomics. This is a deflationary token, which means that the supply will be reduced over time and the tokens will become more and more valuable. We can buy these tokens directly with Matix in the Polygon network, but we can also use other networks to buy Sphere tokens. For instance, if we go to Rubik website, once here, we can select the networks and the tokens we want to bridge, and basically that's all. Remember that we um, need to have a certain amount, around $100, to make this bridge possible. And well, in order to make this protocol sustainable and long-term based, apart from the buying and selling fees, 13% um, and 20% respectively, for each 1% of the sphere in the liquidity pool that an investor holds, the so-called dynamic has will be increased by an extra 5% and once that we connect uh, our um, wallets we will find here the task bracket threshold so um, imagine that we have right now 3 millions of sphere tokens so here we are in the sphere held in this part that means that we will have to pay if we decide to take it all out an extra task of a 10% so apart from the 20% fix that means that the final tax will be a 30 percent when selling this threshold vary depending on the price of the token and uh, the higher the price is the lower the sphere held and these sell taxes go directly to the liquidity pool this increases the amount of sphere in the pool and drives down spheres price that's why they have created here we are the galaxy bonds as you can see in this simulated picture and through these bonds uh, waves those who holders uh, with uh, large amounts of capital will be able to sell their tokens directly to a treasury instead of uh, to the liquidity pool. They will reduce their sale taxes and the buyers will have a discount as we can see here, depending on the duration of the bond, as we can see also here, five days, 12 days or 30 days. Number three, Tattoo, Penrose, Dystopia and Q last. In this chart, we can see an alliance formed by all of these protocols, which basically benefit each other. And finally, what is the most important, all the profit returns to Sphere Finance. Just to introduce them briefly, Tedu is a Web3 asset management protocol built on Polygon that implement automated yield farming strategies in order to provide investors with a safe and secure method of receiving high and stable yield on their investments. Regarding Prend Rose, it is a project brought by Sphere and still pending to reveal its wonderful features. Dystopia is a new decentralized exchange coming to Polygon based on Uniswap V2 and 
curve stable swaps. Basically, it will facilitate swaps between stable coins and closely correlated assets such as swaps between USDC to USDT, for instance. And finally, QLAS, which is essentially a revolutionary way to farm with the, the available liquidity that there is in a pool so the protocol can earn a yield with it. A, any project that wants to use quantum liquidity will be able to do it through a sphere finance. Uh, that is, they will have to provide a fee in exchange for the service and therefore increasing the treasury of the sphere finance protocol. Here in this um, community wiki, uh, we can find a more detailed explanation if you want to know more with a very clarifying uh, flow chart and also with uh, these projects that have applied to use quantum liquidity as a service. So they will be clients, as they mentioned here, not partnered projects. Million Dollar Baby, Aria Token, Parity Finance, High Point Finance, and Void Money. Number four, perpetual APY. If we zoom out, here we are, we can find that this is the key point of the whole ecosystem and we could summarize it as an APY that will vary up or down depending on the profit returns in real time and according to the trading pressure to make it realistic and sustainable. A lot of buys, as it is mentioned here, will result in a lower APY uh, because it won't be necessary to have a high APY and inflate uh, if there is a heavy price appreciation. And in the same bind, here it is, a lot of sales will result in less people in the protocol that is more to distribute from um, the treasury, so the APY goes back up. Considering the current, uh, as it is mentioned here, um, Treasury's growth, the fixed APY is still sustainable for several more weeks. And then it will vary up and down, I repeat, to benefit all holders, large or small. So it should be seen as a very positive step for the protocol. And number five, imminent V2 migration, that is the process of moving tokens from one blockchain to another as a result of a change in the blockchain. It will take place the 29th of April, and we are confident that such migration has been created to be very simple for holders to carry out or even automatic. This new contract will improve some mechanisms like the rebasing bots that sometimes are stuck and will smooth out the swaps into ex a smaller chunks so the red candles when the contract sells will get much softer, avoiding massive sales anymore. Besides, new features will be included such as the Galaxy Bonds previously explained and the Dyson Index, here we are, which is a solution for SPIL holders in countries where the interest or emissions earned from staking a token are counted as taxable events. Um, basically, you just have to wrap your tokens, and once you unwrap them, they will be multiplied by the value of the index. So uh, it is as if you had been rebasing, but not rebasing. You will receive the same amount, which is the idea. In the wiki, you can find an example here um, to understand it better if you don't. And that's all for the moment, but more news will come pretty, pretty soon. To sum up, a very interesting and above all, a forerunner project to bear in mind and to have in our portfolios. So don't forget to follow all the steps to participate in the giveaway of $250 worth of Spear tokens and see you in the next video. Thanks.